This is the infamous purple Lamborghini yoink. So this one, this one is an FM synth. So this is using literally a sine wave and then another analog wavetable, PWM C64. Nothing really, nothing really going on on it. Let me turn off all of the processing as well. Nothing going on on it. Yeah, it's only like four things there. Hello? <laughs> it's perfect! It's just a filter playing around with the FM. Like this is the main, main thing of the noise here. This being FM'd into a sine wave. This will give you that like bark. <laughs> if we break this down, like it's the movement of the LFO that like, that gives it the sound. And it's this specific wavetable. Just an analog one. You you blend analog wavetables with a sine wave and you just get magic. And then you FM it? Oh my goodness. And this is just the magical LFO speed here. This filter. Then this filter just to kind of reel everything in. Control it, you know? These effects are just mainly for wideness and, of course, OTT to, like, compress the shite out of it. And then this filter to give it, this reverb filter to give it more of that metallic sound. And that's a pretty good start for the yoink. And, of course, I just had to do a one more OTT plus saturator. Gate it so that it doesn't bleed too much. And this EQ, ugh, this EQ is very, very important because I need to take out, this original sound has a shit ton of lows in it. So I have to take it all out because we, uh, we have freaking we have freaking bass sounds here. Actually, I think I wanted to keep it not too bassy because I wanted it to have its moment. Yeah, like that. I messed up the sound, though. Oops, uh-oh. There it is. Okay, it's fine now. All you guys who were able to mess with synth sounds like this impressed me so much. I started in a band setting, so I feel like my creativity gets lost while doing this. I started in a band as well, and I'm actually not that much of a sound design nerd. If you tuned in earlier, I was literally talking about how most of these sounds are just presets. This is the only sound I really made, but it's after years and years and years and years of doing sound design stuff and kind of figuring out what works. And like, I have like two steps. I always FM and I always add a filter. And those are the two things that make the sound sound what I'm hearing in my head. And I never venture outside of these. I've never played with any of these wavetables here. And I know you can do way more stuff with them. I'm only in the analog. Like, I stay in my own little box. Like, it's all just LFO on an FM, on a filter. Like, that's it. I just follow, like, that basic step. If you want to see, like, my thought process behind that, I have a whole, like, mini course that I put together. It's on my Patreon. So you can grab that. Or you can watch that. And I don't even do it in Serum. I do it in Vital, which is the free version or like the free VST that's very similar to Serum. So you can literally grab Vital for free and just follow along if you don't want to pay for Serum. But don't get overwhelmed if you're like, oh my God, I can't, like my cre creativity gets lost. If that's happening, then stick with presets you're better off making a full song rather than spending all of your time trying to make a specific sound because you're just wasting time at that point. 
you want to you want to figure out the relationship between how these sounds can work in the context of a whole song and the faster you can do that the better you're gonna get and then once you do start sound designing you'll have an idea of what kind of sound you need to make once you know that then you know what sounds to start creating within serum and then when you have those presets you can literally look at that preset and be like okay this is how it's made oh i'm noticing that this lfo is attached to the volume fm and frequency okay what happens when i when i turn those off what does it sound like then oh okay that's oh damn that that does a lot turn them back on oh shoot okay oh shoot okay and then just play around with those knobs go to a blank patch and then just start start messing around try to do the same thing reverse engineer it, you know but if you're just starting out and you're overwhelmed by making sounds you're not going to get anywhere if you just focus on making all completely original sounds because at the end of the day too people don't care if you've used a preset or not like a listener is not going to care they don't care how it's made they just like the song and if you can utilize that in a song in a way that makes people go holy shit this is dope then that's better for you especially if you're starting out thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed that little slice of what you can expect on my patreon so if you're interested you want to support the channel you can watch that whole thing on there and i'm sorry about the noise in the background i totally forgot my window was open during that whole time so just pretend you were in the city with me all the cars outside just a nice city day with ash anyway i'll catch you all next time peace